Hi guys, today we're here to chat about my favorite face masks for oily, acne-prone skin. These are the masks that I reach for if I have breakouts, if I'm particularly oily, if my skin is just kind of congested and I feel like it needs to be absorbed, as gross as that may be. Uh, I have done this video twice before, once on masks that are great for hydrating oily and acne-prone skin because that is something we need to do and that gets forgotten, as well as my favorite face masks that are good for texture, dark spots, and kind of just helping the overall look and feel of your skin and those have some acids and whatnot in there. So these masks are primarily kind of more of a clay mask style and they range from drugstore to high end so there should be something in there for everybody but let's go ahead and get started. A super interesting mask that may have actually brought you to my channel because it is my most popular video ever is from Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. Oh by the way I did film a get ready with me for this look so if you're curious I did change up my lipstick. I'm not a monster. I will link to that down below. Uh, but this I got on Amazon years ago and it's the nice thing about this is if you're on a budget, you'll have this forever. And I haven't been using this as much recently, but this comes in a powder form. So you're getting so much product in here. You could even like buy it and split it up amongst a bunch of friends if you want to. I purchased this on Amazon and this video that I have on my channel has over 1 million views and it's a video that I never even thought I was gonna upload like it is so chill I barely put any work into it and even now weekly I still get comments and generally the number one comment is oh my god you paid $14 for it and I'm like you realize that first of all this video is years old and second of all people live in other countries besides the United States that have different currencies maybe just just a thought um I paid $14 for this but it is more readily available now than when I picked it up uh you can get it for like six or seven dollars I think you can get it at Whole Foods I saw it at Target when I was in the United States um and yeah I saw it a bunch of different places but even paying $14 for this I'm not mad at it because I, I mean I still have it oh it's expired I should buy a new one okay <laughs> you can have it for a while but just make sure to check the expiry date I haven't used this in a while um, but the thing about this it's deep pore cleansing 100% natural calcium benetite clay so the way that I use this and the way that they recommend using this and I go through it all in my video is you mix it with apple cider vinegar which generally is not recommended to go directly onto your skin because it is so harsh I don't know what the experts would say about mixing uh, the ACV in with this but that is how I get the best texture out of it and I don't do it that often and it is kind of diluted by the mask. It's definitely a really intense mask. It dries on your face. You feel kind of this pulsation as they say and it does leave your skin looking a little bit red after and then it calms down. If you have a drier skin type or super sensitive skin type I wouldn't necessarily recommend reaching for this but if you have oily acne prone skin this is something to look into and people actually use this on their body and in their hair as well so maybe I will pick up another tub and try it out in my hair because I'm curious but I'm gonna empty this out and you'll probably see this in my next empties video. I have two masks here that are very similar to each other and actually a third that I don't have on me because I finished it up from Neutrogena, but I have the Garnier here and I have the Nivea as well. And this is kind of a common thing that popped up in the drugstore last year, but it is a, a face wash, a scrub, and a mask. And this is a face wash, a scrub, and a mask. And so is the Neutrogena. So the nice thing about that is you're kind of getting triple duty. So if you're looking for a good deep cleaning cleanser, these are great options. They can also act as a scrub so you can scrub it into your skin or you can put it on and leave it as a mask for like five or ten minutes. So if you're traveling or if you don't like to have a bunch of products, these are great options. I don't really necessarily have a preference over the three of them. They're all really, really good options. This one has white clay and organic green tree, uh, green tree, <laughs> green tea. This one is more charcoal. So if you're kind of more of a charcoal over clay person, that may uh, kind of break the development in between them and then the Neutrogena one I believe is clay as well so you can kind of just check out and see which one is on sale at the drugstore perhaps but these are all really great options and I think they all do a uh, great double or triple duty as they say if you're looking for something good to kind of clean out the skin and another mask that I don't have here in front of me that I've mentioned before are the L'Oreal clay masks I think they're all amazing I mentioned the yellow and the blue ones in my kind of texture video because those I feel like are better for texture and kind of soothing the skin but they have a green a black and a red that are all great options if you are looking for um, a mask for your skin but I had those I don't have them anymore I pass them on to friends because I have 
a big collection of masks and I kept the yellow and blue ones, but any of those L'Oreal masks are really, really a gorgeous, gorgeous product. Uh, and again, readily available at the drugstore. This is probably the mask that I've been using the most lately when my skin, actually this one and another one, uh, when my skin is acting up. And this is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. And it says your skin breathes a sigh of relief with all that stuff down there. And it says it's kind of pulling it out of your skin. This one has myrtle leaf water along with kaolin clay, uh, benetonite, which is what you would have found in the Aztec mask, along with charcoal powder. So it is really nice, but I don't find it to be super, super intense. So if something like the Aztec mask kind of scares you off and it's a little bit too harsh, this is a nice in-between. I mentioned the clear improvement with honey in my other texture video. I really like that too, but that's kind of more when I have texture issues. And this is what I reach for more when I feel like a breakout is trying to come up or if I'm getting a little bit oily. And I will say, although it's a small thing, a lot of uh, masks come in a tub and you kind of have to reach your hands in there. I really appreciate having uh, something come in a squeezy tube as well. As you'll see in my Aztec mask video, I do have a little mask mixing bowl that I used to have. And then also getting something just to spread it on your face, even if it's like a, a dollar foundation brush from the dollar store, that can help too. If you don't like getting your hands messy, it's not a big deal. You can easily rinse it off. But yeah, I really, uh, I really like this one and I feel like it does a good job and does what it says it does. The other mask that I've been loving lately and I've really fallen in love with a lot of Kiehl's products in the past year or so, this is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask with Amazonian White Clay Intensive, Intensively Purifies. Intensively? I would just say intensely. Anyways, purifies to minimize the look of pores and it says it's deep, deep cleansing, purifies the skin uh, and leaves the skin feeling and looking refined. So the thing I like about this, similar to the Origins, is that it is not, doesn't feel super intense on the skin. Although I like that sometimes where my skin has been a little bit less oily lately. Uh, I don't want it to feel like it's totally stripping my skin of all the moisture because that's a big mistake that a lot of us can make that have oily acne prone skin. Like I've done that back in the day. I've put rubbing alcohol on my face. I used to put salt on a lemon and rub that on my face before we knew better. But now we know we actually need to hydrate our skin to help balance. Um, but sometimes the oils are just coming through and it is really good to have uh, some nice treatments to use on your oily skin and then follow up with a moisturizer. So this I really, really like. You're getting tons of product in here. It is a really nice big mask and and I really do feel a difference after using this, but it doesn't leave my skin feeling like I said stripped or looking red or anything like that. So it's a good kind of in-between mask. Two masks that I would say are more or less dupes of each other. Very, very similar masks. Glam Glow Super Mud. This is a classic. Everybody loves it. You've seen it all over the place, so I barely need to say anything about it. But what I will say is as hyped up as it is, it is a really gorgeous mask. I use this as a spot treatment as well. Keep that in mind for any of these masks. If you just have like your T-zone is oily, you don't need to put it over your entire face if you find it's too harsh on your cheeks. Or if I have a pimple or something popping up, sometimes I'll just pop it on my face as a spot treatment overnight on just one portion of my face because some of these masks would be too intense to leave on for like you know eight hours overnight so I think that this is a really really gorgeous mask it does what it says it's gonna do and leaves your skin feeling really clean um, but again not stripped but this mask is so similar from the body shop the body shop makes amazing masks I think people do not talk about them enough and they make a lot of dupes in my opinion for other higher ed masks and the body shop although it's not like drugstore prices necessarily they do have sales all the time for like 30 40 percent off uh, this is the Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask so my only complaint about this is it is a little bit harsh on the skin where the glam glow washes off no problem because it has the clay but then it also has tea leaves in there so you actually see those on your face they wash off no problem when you use this, and I don't know if it's just me, you let me know if you've used this, but I find like the leaves really stick to my face and I kind of have to pick them off and it just feels a little bit harsh. Like it really gets in there in the skin. But if you have a super oily skin type that's not particularly sensitive, both of these make great options. But I will say this one definitely does feel a little bit more harsh than the Glam Glow, um, but still a really great and definitely more affordable option. Lastly, I want to mention another affordable option that is newer to the market from the Inky List. If you're not familiar with this brand, it launched in Canada maybe six months ago now and 
I think all of their products are under $15, which is super cool. It's available on Cult Beauty in the United, or sorry, in the UK, probably even more readily available in the UK because it is actually um, a brand based out of there. And then I think they just launched in Sephora USA, which is so cool. I met the owners maybe six months ago and it's just so cool to see people like following their dreams and like, I'm saying like a bunch, but being able to achieve something and, and to see your product in Sephora is just incredible. Anyways, so off base. This is the Kaolin Clay Mask from them. I really like Kaolin Clay on my skin. Uh, a nice thing about this, similar to some of the other masks that I've mentioned, is this does have aloe in there. There are some oils in there, so it doesn't feel oily or heavy on your skin, but you're getting the benefit of the clay. That is one of the first, I just looked up the ingredients. It's one of the first ingredients in there, I think. Yeah, so you're getting water, Kaolin Clay, then aloe. So a really nice ingredient list in there. There's other stuff in there as well, but it's a really good mask. Uh, like I said, it is, I think, about $10 or so. You can find it at Shoppers Drug Mart online or in some stores. And something I really like about them, which is similar, like obviously there's a ton of comparisons between these guys and Desium, but what I think they do a better job of is explaining. And I'm into skincare, I enjoy skincare, but I would find myself on the Desium website reading two or three paragraphs and I would walk away from the paragraph and be like, what does a product do? I have no freaking idea. So <laughs> I really like uh, that they are a little bit more explanatory or they do a better job explaining what their products do because I understand things can do different different things and obviously Desium is still a great and um, affordable skincare brand but I just appreciate the biggest difference I see between the two of them is that they do a better job explaining because myself and maybe you are a little more well versed in skincare because you know I'm on YouTube you're watching YouTube but the person walking down the street wants to be able to pick up a box or you know walking down the aisle pick up a box and understand what this product is going to do for them so I really appreciate that they're making quality products that are uh, approachable in both price and their descriptions and I actually really like the mask itself like I said it has the kale and clay in there that's going to help to draw out impurities but you're also getting the aloe so it's going to moisturize because as I learned the hard way, if you strip your skin of all the moisture, then your skin is only gonna produce more oil, which could in turn potentially produce more acne. De it's also gonna depend on your type of acne, like my cystic acne, laughed at all of these masks it did not care it was a hormonal thing um but my oils and the general kind of acne on my skin uh really appreciates or i guess doesn't doesn't appreciate these types of masks because it does help a good job what help a good job it does do a good job helping with acne and none of these like magically remove acne but they will help to flatten to remove some of the redness and just kind of move the process along so those are some of my favorite masks i feel like i blew through that kind of quickly but maybe you don't have much time to waste and you just want the information don't need to listen to me blab so <laughs> thank you so much for watching i will have more skincare videos linked down below if you're curious about moisturizers masks serums uh, I don't think I've done my toner video yet. I want to do a toner video. I've done oils. So yeah, I will have all of that linked down below. But if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!